Hi everyone, Wilfred, founder at Zappi over here. Today, I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of our platform because we've made so many changes to it over the past couple of months uh, that are really exciting that you know I thought we would bear to put into a video, right? So backing up a little bit, what is Zappi? We are an AI powered omni-channel chat platform. What does that mean? It means that we take chats that you've got from uh, today, what are disparate channels, right? Both social media channels, including WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, and Line, as well as if you're a marketplace seller, an e-commerce seller, Shopee, Lazada, and TikTok, we bring that all into one place for your convenience as a management team and the convenience of your customer service team. And then we provide you a number of tools on top of that uh, to make you just much more performant through these channels. That includes automation tools, both rules-based automation flows, as well as AI-powered automations, um, analytics, right, that allow you to view the performance of your chat channels as well as your individual admins and broadcast solutions to allow you to re-engage customers that interact with you um, specifically on WhatsApp and online. So without further ado, uh, let's go and look at the platform. I'm going to log in over here. I'm already logged in to a demo account, uh, so that'll be easy to show you all around. Uh, it starts Everything starts with the integrations page, right? So again, as I mentioned, you can integrate uh, Facebook, Instagram, Line, WhatsApp, Shopee, Lazada, and TikTok. That makes us suitable really for any kind of business uh, that operates on these platforms, right? So you can be an e-commerce business that's operating both on marketplaces and social media, or you can be really any kind of business that's operating, say, on Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, um, who wants automation, who wants um, analytics, and uh, you know perhaps to re-engage customers uh, through broadcasting solutions, right? So we we today serve a very large array of customers, both e-commerce uh, and non-e-commerce. So once your channels are integrated, you'll see them start to flow through uh, into the main um, into the main interface over here, right? So here you can see that uh, you know one of these chats that is handled by Plum right now, so assigned to Plum, and that comes from uh, Line as a channel, right? Here you've got chats that are coming from TikTok from Shopee and so on and so forth. So you've got a number of things that you would expect from such a tool here, including labeling, the ability to close chats, open chats, different filtered views. So here, these are chats that need following up with, chats that have been closed and so on and so forth. You've got an, an information source side panel, a CRM side panel on the side here that uh, you, know, you can add information into like phone numbers, emails and so on and so forth. Uh, you've got an AI assistant, we'll go into that in, uh, in, in a little bit, um, as well as things like quick replies. So these are saved replies that you can just you know, select, apply, and that are going to send a pre-recorded sort of like recorded message, right? Um, you also can send, obviously, files, emojis, and so on and so forth. Now, one thing to note is that if you've got your uh, automation rules set up well, for instance, round robin automations, you're managing a lot of chats as a business, uh, you really only need to go to the mind box sort of view as a customer service agent, and those are all the, the chats that you'll be you'll have to manage, right? So it keeps things very focused, very easy to manage, even with very large um, volumes. Uh, you know, we have customers who are sending over a million messages a month. However, for each of their individual team members, it remains very manageable thanks to the automation rules that they set up and that I'm going to show you in a little bit. We've got a number of like filtering options. I'm not going to go into these into too much details, but basically you can create saved filters, for instance, all your chats from a particular channel. Right, all your chats that are assigned to a particular team, and you can just go in here uh, and view the chats that you know respond to these uh, these filtering criteria that you've set up. So that is really the the the, the long and short of it as regards chat uh, sort of aggregation, right, and and team management. Now uh, for the exciting stuff, uh, we've got we'll start with analytics. So our analytics suite is probably one of the most uh, advanced on uh, the market, right? It gives you information about the performance of your chats. So that's, for instance, your response rate, the speed at which you're responding, the number of chats that you're handling. You can select the channels that you want to see this information for, or, uh, you know, and, and different date ranges, right? And there's a lot of information here. You can view trends. Everything is exportable to CSV. So, you know, if you're creating weekly reports, monthly reports for yourself, or perhaps, you know, you're managing this for on behalf of clients, uh, it's really easy to extract that data and uh, you know to show how you've been doing. Now, this information is also accessible at the agent level. And this is really where it gets interesting because without an omni-channel uh, chat platform, you're not able to see how that agent who is operating across multiple platforms is really doing, right? So uh, how what percentage of chats are they responding to within 12 hours? What about within 10 minutes, right? Um, what about their average response time? So 
this is going to yield all those insights. Again, it's extractable and allow you to manage your team properly uh, to do proper performance management within uh, your agent team. We then have uh, two other tabs that might not be relevant to all sellers out there. Uh, this is relevant to people who are logging orders directly on social media. They're selling things through Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and they're logging in sales. This is going to give them sales trends. And this is uh, going to show like label usage over time, allowing you to kind of extract insights uh, from uh, those labels. For instance, you know, a, a particular uh, uh, after sales issue, right? You're going to be able to see, okay, at the beginning of the month, it was trending, you know, upwards, now it's trending downwards, which means we've kind of stamped down, uh, clamped down on that particular uh, issue over there, right? So a lot of insights that you can gain from the analytics suite, uh, all this information is pretty much real time. Um, and then uh, again, exportable to third party systems uh, for your convenience. Next, uh, I'm going to go quickly into the broadcast section, right? Now, broadcast uh, allows you to communicate to uh, a number of your customers uh, at one time. Today, this feature is available uh, online. However, it's also going to be made available on WhatsApp as of next month, right? So stay tuned for that. But the feature is going to be to work you know, relatively similarly on both Line and WhatsApp. So I'll give you a quick look now. You can essentially allow, uh, decide on whether to, you know, when to send your broadcast, whether now or schedule it, uh, who you're going to send it to. And here we give you a lot of targeting options. For instance, you can use labels that uh, you know, you've applied to, to your customers uh, to segment your customers. For instance, you might be selling baby clothes. We have a customer who sells baby clothes or who sells, sells children's clothes. Some of them are for babies, some of them are for like adolescents, right? And you know, they're probably going to want to segment customers that are interested in, in one and the other in order to make sure that they don't spam unnecessarily those customers who, are, who they know are not interested in that kind of product. So lots of different filtering options and segmentation options uh, you know, over here that can allow you to send just the right message to just the right audience of people today online quite soon on WhatsApp as well. Finishing up is the automation suite. And the automation suite, uh, I've kept the best for last, right? The automation suite is really quite, is really super versatile and uh, allow, can you, allows you to do uh, a whole bunch of things. It starts out with what we call basic automations, right? So this is available on our uh, pro plan, which is our middle plan, uh, whereas everything flow builder and AI agent related uh, comes in our advanced plan. And I'll show you that in, in just a second. So the basic automations allow you to do things that uh, you would expect, for instance, uh, round robin assignments of chats to particular agents. So here you can select the channels that you want this to apply to. And when a chat arrives uh, you know, in one of these channels, it's going to be round robin assigned to uh, you know, the individuals that you specify during their working hours, right? So uh, relatively straightforward, but really powerful uh, automation. Then you've got things like greeting messages, message comes in, send them you know, this message in response out of hours message, if it is out of hours, then send the customer a particular message. We are out of hours, we're going to get back to you soon and so on and so forth. Uh, and then we've got a uh, closing chat message at the end of the chat, when you close it, send this uh, you know standardized message and Facebook and Instagram comment automation. So here you can select keywords on a post, for instance, that you want. So let's select a post over here that you want to trigger a particular uh, action. So for instance, liking the comment, sending a mess, a personal message, right, a, a DM. So if by any chance, um, you know, you are getting a lot of volume on Facebook and Instagram comments, you want to take standardized actions uh, on each of these comments, then this is going to be a really useful feature for you. Moving on then to the flow builder. And now the flow builder is probably, you know, I'd say again, one of the most intuitive uh, on the markets and allows you to do really, really uh, a, a versatile kind of set of things. It all starts with a trigger. And here, you know, the standard trigger is going to be receiving a message. So here you receive a message and you can select which channels this is going to apply to. So again, all channels, one channel, multiple channels, you can really decide. So here we're going to select all the channels, right? And after that, you can start building, uh, you know, building out your, your logic tree uh, to decide sort of where customers are going to, to, to go down based on what their requirements are. We've got a few different types of nodes, including conditions, right? So if the last node meets these conditions, then do this. They could be, for instance, business hours, right? So if the message has been sent within business hours, then send this message. If it's been sent outside of business hours, then send a different message, right? So that's one example of a condition node, but we have lots of different condition nodes, including 
customer labels, so the message that was sent by the customer. The customer needs to match that particular label. Uh, the content of the message needs to contain these keywords. Uh, the last message of the customer was you know, X uh, minutes ago, um, and so on and so forth. A new returning customer, right? So you can greet returning customers, loyal customers versus new customers in different ways, um, and so on and so forth. You then have time delays, very straightforward. Uh, navigation, so this is a jump to know that allows you to loop back uh, logic trees, right, in order to loop infinitely um, within uh, within these logic trees. Um, and finally, you've got actions. So this is going to be things like sending a message, sending a button message, which is going to be to apply to like Facebook and Instagram, for instance, where you can send a, a sort of like set menu of options that users can then click. And then you've got things like uh, adding labels, removing labels. So for instance, if it is a new customer, you can automate the adding of the label new customer. Right, and that way you're going to be able to use that within segmentation. Then closing chat, assigning to. So assigning to can be, for instance, um, you know, if uh, you could have you could select you could have a button at the beginning that is, uh, you know, select your language, right, English or French. Let's say if you select English, then you're going to assign to the English speaking agent. If you select French, assign to the French speaking agent team. Right, just an example. Finally, and really, um, you know, most importantly, I guess we've got let AI handle. So AI today is the thing that we are, mo are working the most on. So um, the AI settings are handled in a separate tab, which is uh, the AI um, sort of like agent building um, tab over here. So this, as the name indicates, is an LLM based uh, AI bot that you can train on your own data, deploy on your channels uh, as per uh, your requirements, uh, and then have really handle your, your, your chats uh, as a human. Today, we've got hundreds of thousands of messages that are sent every month through this solution. And by the end of the year, we expect that to be in the millions of messages. It's really powerful. So it all starts out in the training. Now, we all know that uh, you know the, the AI starts out as a blank slate in order for it to be to answer your messages accurately is going to be need, need to it's going to need to be trained onboarded much like a human being that starts with adding knowledge sources we support a variety of knowledge sources including files text files csvs and so on and so forth websites so here you can put just your website url we're going to take all the information from that and then the ai is going to learn from this information so the first step is really uploading all your knowledge sources one thing to note for new marketplaces, uh, sellers out there, we will soon be releasing support uh, for two new things. One is support for multiple sets of knowledge sources. If you're managing, say, multiple brands that have distinct knowledge sources, right? The second thing is auto training based on the information that you have on marketplaces. So we'll automatically take all the information, say, that you have on your Shopee store, on your TikTok store, and that will be a knowledge source that you can use straight off the bat to start automating perhaps 30, 40% of your tickets fully. Next, we've got the scenario training. Now the scenario training allows you to define certain scenarios in which you want your agent to follow a specific SOP. This could be, for instance, uh, returns, right? So you can tell the, the AI in the event of returns, uh, do steps, so uh, customer inquires about return, about return. And you can tell the AI here, okay, in the event of uh, a customer asking about return, do these three things. First, uh, check whether they match the, um, they, they are eligible for a refund as per the policy that we have in our knowledge source. Two, if they are, then ask them for a video of, uh, you know, the defective product. Three, ask them for their order information. And the AI is going to follow that strictly whenever that scenario is triggered. So this is where we, we sort of like combine the, or allow you to, to, to reach the, the, the right balance between unconstrained AI and AI that actually responds to your needs uh, reliably, right? Uh, and that's all handled within the scenario training module. We then have some AI settings that are coming up. So personality, uh, you know, more sort of like customization and configuration, and that's coming up in uh, the weeks to come. So stay tuned for that as well. Once you've trained your AI, uh, you can go ahead and test it, right? So here you can send some messages to see, you know, how uh, your AI responds before you actually deploy it to production. So you could say, hi, um, I'd like to buy a dress, to buy a dress, right? Now, uh, here we are, we are on a sort of like fashion store, um, a fashion store, sort of demo store. And so, uh, okay, the, the AI is saying, please check addresses at trendhaven.com. Now, 
the interesting thing, so obviously this is based on knowledge tools that we've uploaded. Uh, one thing to note is that the AI has given the URL over here. And actually we're going to see that in the scenario training, uh, the AI was specifically told that if a customer if a customer asks about a product, give the customer a link to the shop at the end of potential buyer inquiries, right? So here, if a customer asks for a specific product, end the message by sending them to our store, trendhaven.com. And so here, uh, the AI has understood the inquiry. This is a product inquiry, this is a purchase inquiry. And so I'm going to send them directly to trendhaven.com. This demo account here is not fed with uh, near as much data as uh, you would want it. Um, but you can already see how in this scenario, the AI is understanding the inquiry and responding to it appropriately. That pretty much wraps it up. Once you finish training your AI, you can go ahead and deploy it. You can activate it in different scenarios as a first line of defense, as a last line of defense. So for instance, if your agent hasn't responded to um, the, the, the customer within a certain number of minutes, the AI takes over or the AI acts as the first line of defense and only things that it cannot handle, you know, perhaps 50% uh, uh, of more complex queries is going to escalate over to the relevant agents. So you can really be modular and, and cast specific about how you want to set up your AI. That pretty much wraps it up. Uh, you know, in summary, Zappi uh, is a great solution for really any business that operates across these different uh, channels that I, I mentioned, right? That's Facebook, Instagram, Line, and WhatsApp. If, however, on top of that, you're also operating across Shopee, Lazada, and TikTok, you'll find that we are really the best solution for you out there. We're the only solution that both integrates with these marketplaces as well as with social platforms and provides you this level of uh, both uh, automation solutions as well as analytics and on top of that, as a side bonus, um, broadcasting and re-engagement solutions. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me uh, directly on LinkedIn or um, you know on WhatsApp. I'm very responsive. And uh, do check us out at zappy.com. Thanks.